What is up and welcome back to another quarantine edition uh, episode. Hopefully all of you guys are staying safe. I know they're lifting up a couple of things here in LA, so you should be able to buy some shoes at um, a retail store near you soon, very soon. Uh, now today I am extremely excited about these shoes that I'm about to show you. Um, this is probably the most excited I've been in a while. Also with that, I've had a lot of friends hitting me up about these shoes, wanting these shoes, and uh, after ever, all of them begging, I finally caved in and I sold them to one of my friends that I've known for a while, um, basically my entire life. So I figured, you know what? All right, I'll just sell them to you. You clearly want them more than I do. Um, but I mean, these, these are heat. So we got the Fear of Gods triple black coming at you. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a Philly jersey. Well, not only is it extremely hot out here in LA, but Jerry Lorenzo, obviously if you don't know anything about Fear of God, Jerry Lorenzo, the, he's the owner. Um, and when he did all of his promo stuff, I guess he, I didn't even know this, he was a huge Allen Iverson fan. Um, so he actually did all his promos with his kids and it was actually pretty cool. He did a lot of, you know, Allen Iverson comparisons and I thought it was pretty awesome. So that's why I had to wear this Philly jersey. This is honestly probably my favorite unboxing that I've ever done. This packaging is insane. You're not gonna pick up, but there's, you know, subtle uh, Fear of God, Air Fear of God Nike, Fear of God around, you know, it's just insane. This is a huge box. They are huge shoes, obviously, if you didn't know that already. Now, it's, it's gonna take some time to get these out of the damn box. And there we are. So, Again, I'm not gonna open these up. These are lace locks and I believe a keychain is in there. Uh, again, I'm, not, I'm selling these, so um, rather than have my friend open them all up. You got this nice little Fear of God uh, dust bag, just really nice. See, I think it's actually just a huge bag. And then you, obviously, it's like a peach orange box. So you got a nice little peach orange wrapping. And then you kind of get this like, uh, I don't know, foil looking, almost space looking packaging. I mean, again, this is probably the nicest, nicest um, packaging I've seen in a very long time. Um, and then you got the shoe. Again, this is a huge shoe. I'm not sure how you're gonna pull it off with either jeans or shorts. It's kind of up to you. I honestly forgot, because obviously if you don't know Jerry Lorenzo, um, the owner, again, of Fear of God, he was, huge friends, or he still is huge friends with Kanye, and he designed the 750, the high tops, the, one of the first, you know, Yeezys. Um, and I don't know why it took me so long, but these literally look like the 750s, just the Nike version. And uh, I think it just took me this, this pair of shoe, maybe just holding there or something to actually realize that there's a lot of similarities. Obviously one being a super high shoe, um, but if you compare them and do a side by side, there's a lot of similarities, so it's kind of, you know, kind of cool to see the way he designed Adidas and the way he designed these Nike shoes. Now, these shoes are insane. The quality, again, these are priced at around $375, $380. Um, the quality on these, you know, at first I was kind of hesitant. Is it going to be actually worth it? Uh, in my opinion, I think it is. I know some people had glue stains on theirs. Mine seemed to be pretty much pretty fine, you know. Um, but I mean, yeah, the quality is just insane. So you got your little fear of God on the bottom part. You got your little Nike emblem, the little bubble. And then uh, there's kind of different materials. It's kind of like a plasticky material that leads up to a different kind of plasticky material. Then you got like, I guess nylon or I don't know, some kind of material, I don't know. Then you got suede. I don't even know these about the fear of gods, but this is actually reflective in the toe, which I think is pretty nice. Then you have your nice little laces, and then the back you got what is it, Nike, and then Fear of God, along with that zipper. And the inside, I mean, these do come with white laces, or right, an off-white kind of. It's like a almost an oatmeal. Talking about oatmeal, oatmeal is probably my favorite color. With these, this is probably my second favorite. Um, come with the oatmeal, and then the inside has. Uh, it's not gonna pick up, but it has a little orange in there. It has dates, and I forgot what they they are supposed to represent. Um, but yeah, overall the shoe 
is good quality, so I think it's worth it. Now I know resale, it, I think people thought I was gonna go higher, higher including myself, and it didn't, it kinda just sitting where it's at. I think in the next year or so, it's gonna skyrocket. I mean, this is a colorway that you can wear with pretty much everything. Now you're gonna have to choose either between shorts and jeans, and I really don't know how to pull these off yet, so yeah, I mean, just try multiple outfits. But again, I think this is worth it. I think everything about this design is crazy. I think just overall, it just looks like such a futuristic, futuristic shoe, um, almost like you know a Marty McFly kind of shoe. Also, I should mention that these are pretty heavy shoes, so keep that in mind when you're rocking them. Also, the zipper, they are kind of tight um, on the back, so I heard of people just ripping them right off. So, you know, be careful with that. You do kind of have this little, I guess like suede, almost leather material. It's like a, what is it, a shoehorn to help you, your foot actually get in, because it's, again, these are so high that your foot is kind of weird and awkward position. Let me know your thoughts. Till next time.